the anthropology of, and I love Jean Rauch and, and the way he radicalized ethnography. I see a lot that I've gotten from him, but it's really spending time and gaining trust and, and making something together. Like, you know, all the clam diggers that I was talking to when I was making lunch breaks, I filmed in all different factories. And in the end, I just used the shipyard. Carly was my assistant. She was incredible at lunch break. I had to hire someone on the East Coast to go to factories to talk to people during their lunch for a year who had to get along with me and live with me. And she could walk into the shipyard and everyone would be like, hey, Carly, Sharon, you coming to lunch today? You know, it's like we could not get in the shipyard for nine months, I tried. And then the union invited us in loved the project, knew everything about it, and they said, it was like a Friday, and they said, on Tuesday, we'll, we'll have you in by Tuesday. And so on Tuesday, we went in at like seven in the morning, and we sat at the huge conference table with management and the union, one end and the other end, and we watched the union fight for us to have access. And so we had access, full access for a year. We had union escorts. We could do anything we wanted, and it's like, not since like the WPA or something have, it's like to be allowed in a de defense industry, you know, management was so paranoid I was gonna do something about warships. And I was like, no, really, I'm interested in lunch and the workers, <laughs> you know? And like, so Carly and I would go and we'd bring tons of books and she'd start at one end, cause it's like a quarter of a mile, the hallway. And I'd start at the other end and then the next day at lunch, we'd switch and we'd go down and then the workers would start to bring in things and tell stories and then they would lead us to other people. And, you know, it was like all about learning, like constantly learning and just appreciating them and their work. I mean, they're all artisans in a way. They're all, you know, s steel workers and tin knockers and they're collaborating building this huge thing that takes four years it's like a sculpture and they said oh your work's like ours it takes years to finish <laughs> you know <laughs> and it's not so clear cut some people don't believe in what they're building but it's a good job their humor was amazing and that's why I did it in Maine is because you know I, I know Maine so well and it's just people are funny like like me like not funny but hilarious <laughs> <laughs>